All right, so here is the README for the MERN stack build. Uh, when you download the zip file, go ahead and unzip it and make a copy of the root folder and open it in Visual Studio Code. Now I say make a copy because the starter files will be deleted. And in VS Code, go ahead and press Command or Control Shift B to bring up the build task in the command palette and press enter to select the build task. Uh, the terminal will pop up and ask you three questions related to your project. Um, the README has the full text stack, some detailed instructions, um, and then here's the file structure, which you'll also see momentarily. All right, so heading over to VS Code, here are the starter files, um, all of the tasks, the build, which is the main file, uh, the delete files, which is the functionality to delete everything, uh, and then the README that you just saw. So I'll go ahead and press uh, Command Shift B, bring up the build task, and press Enter. And here it's asking the first question what the HTML title element inner text should be. So I'll do hello world. Uh, second question is for the port number. And then the final question is for the Mongo database name. And then when we press enter, the browser tab should pop up. Uh, right now it's installing all of the NPM packages. Uh, some of the loose ends. So in doc router, uh, for the router, just fill in all of your endpoints. Change up the methods here as well. In CRUD.js, this is where all of your database functionality can be filled in. Right now it's just a skeleton. And then the schema, you can fill that in uh, based on the needs of your project. Okay, so the front end is built, the back end is built, and Nodemon is listening on port 3000 and connected to the Hello World database. So heading over to the browser, if I go ahead and refresh, you'll see we have Hello World. Now, um, here are the loose ends mentioned here as well for your reference. But I also want to acknowledge Scott Moss. He's a great instructor, um, teaches a, a few courses on front-end masters. Um, one of them, he teaches some back-end workflow concepts that are absolutely amazing. Uh, so I've linked his GitHub and uh, front-end masters as well. So hopefully this project helps you out.